Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Now that we've gained Catwalk, there's a couple neat little places we can go. The first of which is just back over here, near that tree we made come back. There's a little cat on the wall here, and if we can manage to get our camera up high enough to see the, both the cat and the top, Yep. Draw the line up from the cat. And we can climb us up a wall. Let's see if I can't get centered on these here. There we go. Now, what's up here anyway? I forget. Always useful, I suppose. You know, not really anything of note. The heck did a traveler get up here? Well, either way. Unimportant, we have things to do! Such as, for example, use uh, Catwalk to further the storyline. <clears throat> Let's go with that one. I like that one. It involves the storyline and us getting further. Now, I suppose... I've been toying around a lot recently, and it does have a great dip in overall power, but I'm growing rather fond of having the uh, beads as a sub-weapon. So, I'll tamper around with that for a little bit, see what happens. Because I like having fun. It's not, new, it's not quite as powerful, not quite as easy to use, but it looks freaking awesome. No, let's get it on the cat. The cat would be helpful. There we go. Kitties. Gina, where can I go? Hey, dude! I do believe that's a Tengu. These things are not easy enemies to take down. I've never liked fighting. Yee, that stung a little. You know what, I'm gonna keep my distance from you. Not getting away from me. Oh, crap, 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 crap. If you happen to knock out the light on his torch, he gets right ticked off. So, uh, relight it. I guess I wasn't fast enough, and now he's very tough. And now he's dead. Well, that didn't go nearly as fast as last time I fought him. Or nearly as well. Oh well. Why yes, I'm here. Hello, good sir. Whirlpool Galaxy. We're looking for a whirlpool. Well, if you got a wish upon a falling star, let's give him a star to wish upon. And what do you know? A whirlpool. 
Well, let's go take a look. Oh, and I have 472 prays. So... Oh, I don't have enough for one more. Looks like a whirlpool to me. Wait, it said when the Whirlpool Galaxy spins in the heavens. I say we give it a spin. That's right, we can spin even the stars themselves. But it's not spinning fast enough! Let's actually try spinning them the direction they're spinning. Now that is a galaxy. And that is a whirlpool! Well, heck, now we just gotta go find or Orca! You know, I never did try actually running off from the, uh, water dragon. Oh well. Onwards to the Dragonian Domain! We put a leash on that water dragon yet. Is all kinds of awesome right there. I guess you could say we're underwater, but not. Look at all these clams with stuff in them, I'll worry about that later. introduces Amaterasu is beyond me, because considering most people we run into seem to know who he, who he is, who she is. We had a discussion over that earlier. I'm not getting into it again. <laughs> I'm gonna call her a she, just because, uh, I can. And you'll notice that the general layout of this building is actually reminiscent of, uh, Sasa Sanctuary. We have an elevator up to the top, we have the spinny thing, um, out front, and we've got doors going off to the side here. Well, let's go up and see Orohime. Ooh, shiny. Soon. Actually, referring to Amy not by name, but by title. I 
from here. Kind of fun, actually. Yeah, don't, don't, don't stop talking in the middle of something, saying something important. That makes things easier. That doesn't. Well, not like we haven't been there before. to get rid of... we have to get to Oni Island. We have to take out the Dark Lord. It's what's causing problem for problems for everybody. It's what threw the freaking Water Dragon into its frenzy. We have to do something about it, but... I guess if that's the only way in, then that's the only way in. It's a little dangerous. All right, then. I'm eager to please because I know what needs to be done. Now, with the Dragon Orb... We can go into, I do believe, this door. Or not the dragon orb, with the uh, shell amulet. And then we go. I don't see him anywhere.
Oh. Well, that's... that's inviting. Bottoms up! Somewhere in here. Now, actually, just as the, um... I suppose I should take a look around, seeing as we're not going to be able to come back here again once we're done in here. But, um, seeing as the Dragonian Palace was kind of a... I guess you could call it a... Another... An, a replica? It was... It was similar to the... Sasa Sanctuary. So as it was similar to Sasa Sanctuary, so is this place similar to our very first mini little dungeon thing. Um, I think it was Hanna, Hanna Valley. Something like that. Hanna Valley. Let's call it that. Now, I'm just kind of going about my own business here, but... Um, no, let me on! But, um, yeah, there's a locked door up ahead, so... We had to go down here to get the key. So now I went down and got the key. This is a very pretty place, though, for being the inside of a dragon. Save point. I'm not going to worry about that so much. Valley, this was where the Guardian Sapling was. This is the room we learned Bloom in. In here, it's where the Dragon Orb is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's working. Well, if that doesn't work, let's take a look around. That Water Orb that thing was down this path, so... Let's take a look. Okay, this room is a little different from Hannah Valley. Hmm. You know what? Do 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 do. Now, just in case. Yeah, what's that? I kinda wanna open it up, I don't have anything else to do. But, um... Hey. Well, if I can't cut it, let's try digesting it. Righto, let's find out! Digesty. Now, I don't know if it's the um, fire tablet that helps us in this, but we can actually jump in this and not get hurt, despite it essentially being stomach acid. Oh no, my mistake, being in it actually does uh, slowly drain our life. My bad. Well, let's just not be in it long. Now, it digests our little lily pads here, too, so we certainly can't even... Stand on a lily pad for long. Get on it. 
I could certainly jump from lily pad to lily pad, but I kind of want to be out of here sometime this century, so... I guess I'll eat a little bit of damage just to get out of here. Oh, hey! The digestive juice got rid of the uh, other thing. Looks like it can get rid of this, too. Give orb! Well, that, that certainly makes wandering around a little bit easier. And now we have the dragon over. Now just to get our sorry butts back out of here and get to Orohime. Right, with Kimiko's help now and the Dragon Orb, we can actually get in. We, can... we have something. We've got a plan. Probably should be on our way. I don't know. I don't want to know what's gonna happen. No. They're not spirits. Fox fire. Tube foxes. Yeah, this is never a nice fight. It's going surprisingly well, considering. Now, the thing about these tube foxes is that they steal your ink! Did I take one out? Did I actually take one of them out? Three of them down. Another two. Freaking tube foxes! The tube foxes, um, the fox is kind of a mythological creature in Japanese mythology. It's said that as they age, I believe it's every hundred years, they grow an additional tail. Up to nine tails. The oldest and most powerful being a nine-tailed fox. Now these all seem to only have one tail each. And this is five of them we've fought so far. Dang it! Quit stealing my ink! Great, now I'm all out of ink. Don't care. Your attacks... Not only do your... Does... Ah! Quit stealing my ink! When you don't have any ink power, you... Well, not only are your... Can you not use ink, but your regular attacks get weaker. If 
if I could just kill one of these stupid things, this would get so much easier. God dang it! Almost, almost. Okay, I counted three the first time, two the second. This is another three. So there are eight tube foxes total. Oh, eight total. I do not like fighting them at all. Just a chaotic battle. Didn't do so well on time, didn't so well, do so well on damage. Don't care at that point, I made it. Wait. The fox rods! These are the things Rao was looking for. Well, heck, we can take these back to her now, and we've got a weapon against the Dark Lord as well! Jeez, everything is going well in here. Now, the fox rods... They're technically all tubes containing tube foxes, so there's a tube fox in each. And we saw how powerful those were. If something could actually harness those things' power... Not just the physical power, but the magical power. Oh dear. I think I agree. Get the crap out of here. You can watch the shadows on the ground to see when things are going to be falling. And now, admittedly, I, um, I bypassed a couple items in here that I could have gotten if I'd actually stuck around. There's at least one place I can think of off the top of my head right there, actually, where you can um, shoot that up to get a um, chest or something. Shoot! Not that. That! I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Just don't knock me off the platform! Where am I going? Where am I going? Don't knock me out of the air when I'm in mid-jump over a giant pit! No, they actually give you plenty of time to get out of here. Probably just in case you do what I did and fall multiple times. So you're not in too much of a rush, but here's the exit. Let's get the crap out of here. I... I think we killed the water dragon.
The Dragonian King. So it wasn't even the wounds, it was the fox rods within him. So the fox rods, not only are they a powerful weapon for us, but they were the weapon of the Dark Lord. King Water. 